Today we're gonna test and see if all of my commercial construction tools will fit into this Ford Maverick. I've got hole saws, whoa, and cords. I've got power tools. This is actually a highly functional test for me because I ordered a Ford Maverick and I'm wondering if all of this will fit whenever I get the new truck. I'm not even taking up my whole bed in the F-150. I'm just taking up part of it, but I feel like it's gonna take up the entire Maverick bed. And if I'm honest, this is my biggest hesitancy with getting the Maverick because I'm a little bit afraid that it won't all fit. But there's only one way to find out. Oh, latch fell off. Kind of feel bad getting my dirty tools in my dad's new truck, but you know, when it's for science, we gotta do it. Two grinders, trash bags, you know, lockbox, all the miscellaneous things. So far, something I noticed that it's actually nice is the fact that I can just reach over and put stuff in here a lot easier than on my truck, especially with the bed cover. You can't really get in on the side that easy, where I definitely can here, but that shrinks the storage space also. So we'll see if that comes back to bite me. You know, drywall knife, set of plans. What are these for? Whataburger, put those in last. Ugh. Miscellaneous large hand tools. You gotta have some Mondo stuff. Oh, there's my tape. I wanna measure these beds. It's getting full pretty fast over here. Ooh. If it was my truck, I'd slide stuff around more, but I feel bad scratching this bed. Of course, every superintendent or construction professional has to have a five gallon bucket full of miscellaneous junk. Jumper cables, four foot level, stash on the side, broom, gotta have it, gotta have a clean job site. Those other tools, okay, here's the first test. We'll use the level to find out. Is this already over the top? Oh, wow, that's really close. I don't think that would fit if there was a bed cover because look how this sits below the top of the bed rails. There's that thickness. That wouldn't fit there if this had a bed cover. So we need to find another spot to put that. It's definitely not as flexible in terms of how you could position stuff too because there's just so much less space. It's about as much room as we have there. A dirty, nasty old job site poster. I think it's gonna fit. We've got a few other miscellaneous things, but by and large, by and large, we've got it. Wow. I mean, I guess largely I was only using sort of this much of the bed and that stuff was long-term storage. So if it had a bed cover, this would probably clear it. Boy, that box is actually pretty close. How thick is that bed cover? And I wonder if that DeWalt box would hit it. We're losing an inch and a half. So if we lose an inch and a half here, oh, we still got plenty of space. Looks like less somehow back here though. No, we still have plenty of space. We got closer to three and a half, so that passes. This is the first time I've really gotten a good visual on how many tools you can fit in the back of a Maverick. So far, so good. Get it straightened out. Actually, the loading height is closer than I thought it would be. I was assuming that this would be significantly lower. At about 49 inches on the Maverick and about 54 inches on the F-150. So it's only about a five inch difference between loading heights. I'm sure some of you right now are leaving comments saying, but what about those times when you have a whole bunch of stuff in the F-150 bed, so much so, that it doesn't even fit all in there? Or what about extra long stuff? What are you gonna do then? Well, obviously the Maverick does not have that benefit. I mean, this is it, four and a half foot bed. Actually, it's even less than four and a half foot. It's four foot five from this little bulkhead here all the way back to the tailgate. So in those days, whenever you have to carry just tons and tons of stuff or really long lumber or something else like that, it's gonna be a challenge because you just flat don't have the length you need. But it's kind of foolish when we think about it. If we're gonna buy a vehicle for the three days a year when we need to carry the maximum amount of stuff, why would I get worse gas mileage, pay extra money, have higher maintenance costs for the vehicle that every now and then really helps me, but day to day is way more than I need. That's the whole reason why I'm looking at the Maverick because I know that day to day, this is still actually more than I need because it's got four full size doors and I've got room in the back to put even more stuff. But in the meantime, 360 days a year, I'm getting better mileage, I'm spending less on maintenance, the vehicle is actually less money to purchase. All in all, I should come out ahead with the Maverick. But for curiosity's sake, let's figure out how big each bed is and just compare the general dimensions. So as we said, from this front bulkhead to the face of the tailgate, it's 53 inches, which is four foot five on the Maverick. On the F-150, I've got a full six foot six, so 78 inches, and I'm 77 inches tall, so it's actually an inch taller than me. So what's the difference there? If my truck is 78 inches long and this one is 53, that's 25 inches shorter than I'm giving up on bed length. That's a lot. How about width? From face of bed rail to face of bed rail, I've got 52 and a half inches. 
So that's four foot four and a half. And on mine, because I've got this cover on there, that's really kind of my max dimension there. That's 59 and a half. 59 and a half versus 52 and a half. So it's only seven inches narrower to go down to the Maverick. But here's a big dimension I think we're gonna lose some volume on, which is the bed height. So functionally, I've got 22 and a half inches of bed height in the F-150. Doesn't seem like very much. How about in the Maverick? About 20 and a quarter. So I'm losing right about two inches with the Maverick. Definitely a lot less than I thought it'd be. Well, what do you think? Is it worth it? Am I gonna regret it to go down to a Maverick size bed? Because those days will come when I need to carry the most stuff and I won't be able to anymore? Or will it pay off because 360 days a year, it'll be okay. I'm crossing my fingers. I, I like to hope that it'll work out, but I still remember the times when I need to carry an extension ladder, I need to carry something that's 14 feet long, and it's just a mess, even in my truck. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do in that case in the Maverick. I guess I just won't use it. I guess that's the answer, right? I won't be able to use the truck to do that. It will just no longer be an option. Or I can keep looking into ladder racks. That's the other option. All right, now I gotta put the tools back because I need them back in my truck before work on Monday. Yeah, that's a lot easier to reach over and grab stuff. If you're curious to know what I ordered as far as my custom truck spec from Ford that I'm still waiting on, watch this video next because it goes over exactly how I spec mine and why, and why I didn't get a truck this nice. All right, see you next time, bye.